all right y'all so welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello and welcome so we lost our natural light and i'm trying to binge film today to get a couple kicked out to you guys because i know how i can be someday so if i'm fiddling chatty i'm trying to get it done so hopefully you guys had a chance to check out the what's in my bag on this makeup bag i am trying to get a couple videos done and i don't even know who gonna go up first so we shall see y'all know sometimes i talk in real time um so yeah we just gonna make it work and whoever go first whoever go first did y'all see how she plopped on the bed when i tell y'all she is a brick this baby full y'all she is so full so hopefully you guys have had a chance to check out the um unboxing of this cutie this is a if you know you know ysl puffer in the denim um color i think it's called rodeo blue or rodeo blue however you want to pronounce it um it does have the gold hardware this is from an instagram seller so if you have not seen that unboxing and you are new here let me see if i can zoom out a little bit you are new here um definitely be sure to hit me up on instagram and i'll be sure to uh, share the seller's information this is in the medium size which although it says medium this is a large <laughs> This is the largest size that this specific one comes in. So this one is um, considered a puffer bag. On the front here, I just have this really cute uh, baby pink palm charm from um, Amazon. And then I have this cute little Marie charm, which I showed in a haul a couple months back. This is from Kate Spade. I love these two cuties on here. I thought they look really, really cute together. And um, I went over the details about the bag in the unboxing. So definitely check that out if you haven't. But I am just going to get right into the video, you guys. So she unsnaps very easily. She has a very nice secure magnetic strap um, snap or magnetic closure but super easy to get in her trying to got, give you guys a quick overview I'm doing the video in the bedroom which washes things out but I don't have the camera right towards the light fixture it's kind of on the side so we'll see if this one turns out pretty good so far it looks really good and doesn't look washed out so we will see how it goes so let me see maybe can I flip this back make it a little easier for me to see and cool all right so right on top I do have my icebreakers mints I'm currently in the watermelon flavor thoroughly enjoying that um, I have my pink wristlet from coach this is in the cerise color that released recently this is one of the last things I bought before I went on the no buy with mom ambition so wristlet from coach with a cute little butterfly charm from sheen and in here I have my usual so I have my lady products I will go through them just in case so we have extra tissues for the bathroom just in case we have the larger sheen pouch um, with my liners in it and aunt Flo is in town so we have the bigger liners in there then we've got some q-tips and some floss sticks in in the smaller sheen pouch the one that can hold like credit cards I need to add another lady wipe to here because I did use one today at the doctor's appointment um, I have some soap sheets from shop miss a these are in the rose scent they smell so good I have two expandable washcloths from sheen I have a spray bottle from sheen and I need to add some more because it is getting low and then I have nothing in those two credit card slots that are on the side then I have my little, if you know, you know, from the gate, uh, Chanel small or mini, they're calling it, um, O pouch. This is just a small compact pouch in that, you know, if you know, you know, caviar <laughs> leather with the gold C's on the front and the gold hardware. I love how they did make sure that C details at the end of the zipper. I'm just using this as kind of like an extra kind of wallet. So I don't want to accidentally show any cards, but I have coupons and then extra, um, credit cards, debit cards, and gift cards in here. I didn't want my current wallet to be, to be too thick or too fat. So I was in enjoying using this as kind of my rollover wallet or the extra wallet or I don't know wallet leftovers whatever you want to call it then I have not used a lot of my Louis pieces recently or in a while that I can remember and I had the itch to do so so I pulled out my little mini pochette this one is from um, the Louis Vuitton boutique with that gold hardware and it's got that beautiful Vivian image on the front the inside is also blue just like the tab and so in here I'm using this as kind of my makeup bag so just a couple of lip beads I've got my Shayna B lip gloss which came in an ipsy pouch it's a very pretty color it reminds me of one of the Fenty Beauty colors I still need to get me a new one y'all but I ain't been using it so I haven't rushed to get it but I need another Ruby Rose Juvia's Place uh which one is this Fussy I think yep this one is Fussy from Fenty Beauty lip gloss my favorite NYX butter gloss and strawberry cheesecake my favorite lip liner Scorpio from Juvia's Place 
and then that little compact sample of lipstick from YSL that I did get in the perfume set does it say what color it is it doesn't it's like a pretty red I haven't used it yet but I have that in here just in case and then yeah as you can see it does have that pretty blue interior which kind of hard to see kind of creating a shadow a little bit but um, the last thing in there is just this cute little um, kind of velvet pouch from a Simply Gilded sub box from back in the day. I just chose to put that new YSL mirror that I got um, in that gift set with my perfume that I showed in the haul. Put this in here so that the mirror doesn't get too scratched up or even this marble side that's so pretty, it doesn't get damaged. So just slip this in this cute little pouch. So that is my makeup bag. I have some nuts. I went to Jazzy's Flag football game the other night, took some snacks, didn't eat this one, so I decided to toss it in here. Instead of putting it back in the pantry, I figured I might as well put it in my purse. And then I'll just have it with me. I have this little cutie. This came from Walmart. I have had this for years, y'all. I mean, like, ages. Look, let me show you how busted the zip, the denim zipper is. Busted, busted. But it was in my um, SLG drawer with my other pouches. And I thought that the denim would look really good together, plus go with the pinks. So I was in the mood to do pinks, which was right on time because it's October. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So if you have lost a loved one, family member, or friend, my condolences go out to you and your family. Definitely lifting prayers for your continued peace and healing and if you have been through the breast cancer journey I'm glad that you came out on the other side if you are currently going through a breast cancer journey definitely sending some hugs kisses and prayers your way as well um, so this is a part of the uh, pink for DJ King breast cancer awareness uh, videos that us youtubers and back communities and mag addicted <laughs> ladies are doing here um, so these are my pink goodies inside of my YSL but of course I'm gonna do some more actual pink bags as we move through the month um, so yeah this cute little pouch is from Walmart like I said I've had it forever and I thought it was perfect to bring together the pinks and the denims and using this as my pin pouch so in here I have some pins and I will show you guys my cuties so I've got the gem pin mine is from Amazon most of you get yours from the Dollar Tree my Dollar Tree doesn't have it hmm it's a little bit of adhesive on this pin not sure where that came from um got this cute villa beautiful pin with different shades of pink i thought that would look great in here this bow pin is one of my favorites it's a click i mean a twist ballpoint pin from sheen love that this is another villa beautiful cutie with those pink stones love that one i have my pink mild liner i have a pink tool pin and i love how this one writes hot pink then I have not used any of my pin gems in a while, so I decided to pull this cutie out with the blues and the pinks. This is a um, twist gel pin, but sometimes I get real picky and I don't like the gel ink that comes in these, so I had switched a lot of mine to ballpoint. Um, this looks like it's ballpoint, so this one was probably already switched, but this is a really pretty pin. It has gems in it, just like a Villa Beautiful pin, only it's a little bit of a different setup. It has a gem on top. It doesn't have a cap. It twists. It doesn't, you know, just pop off. And then the gems and the barrel are kind of, you know, in the different places, but definitely beautiful, beautiful pins. I actually have a whole video on my older collection, because of course it's missing my newer pins, but I have a whole video um, on my channel back from, I want to say like Vlogmas of maybe... 2020 maybe or maybe even 2019 y'all god lead time is flying but anyway i have like my pin gym collection and i have my villa beautiful pin collection so if you're interested in seeing a whole bunch of pins for the whole video that might be one you might want to check out and then this is a newbie um asha baby o here on youtube as well as instagram had posted that they had these white ones i knew about the uh colored ones because mom ambition has sent me a link directly but when she posted that she grabbed these from her office depot asha baby o girl thank you so much i went right on the office depot add to cart for pickup and picked them up <laughs> so this one is white i will say i did not realize because i checked out so fast i did not realize that the ink was actually black they do offer this in a ballpoint and a gel which was great because i prefer gel but i literally checked out so fast i didn't even realize that the ink was actually black so that's a bit of a difference for me because i'm really used to all of my pens especially if the barrel is white um i'm used to all of my pens from tool being blue ink and then of course if it's you know a colored barrel i'm used to being whatever color um the barrel is but it's okay it's still wonderful it writes nice it's a tool pen you cannot go wrong so that is my pen pouch let's see my keys are busting out of the back pocket so i'll go ahead and pull them out six key holder from louis Vuitton. i have shown this forever and a day this is my ride or die chick right here i do keep my driver's license carry license and an emergency card back there and sometimes i will tuck my major credit card or debit card back there and hit the door and put my chapstick in my pocket especially if i'm wearing jean shorts or jean pants i do also have my 
BDS planner in here. Um, uh oh has unsnapped. <laughs> I have my VDS planner here. This is an A7, also known as a pocket size. I love to use the pocket in my purse for a quick on the go. The inside I did set up really pretty for fall. I love how it came out. I've got a nice fall color Villa Beautiful pin tucked in the pin loop. And then just of course my usual, I've got my October card in there. And so this is my little on the go personal assistant. I keep my shopping list and my errands and things like that. Or if I need to jot something down on the go, I'll put it in there. The back pocket is quite full and stuff is popping out because I'm leaning the bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and empty that pocket. I've got my marshmallow pumpkin latte lotion from Bath and Body Works. I've got a Jergens lotion for the family. Y'all, this stuff smells so good. I've been using it lately. It just smells so just fresh, just fresh. Um, I've got my little pink um, liquid container that you could put whatever you want in it. I do think it's designed for hand sanitizer, but I'm sure if you want to put body spray in here, you could. I have a Bath and Body Works um, body spray liquid. Jesus Christ, Layla. Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer spray in here. I didn't want to do the usual, um, uh, what do you call it, pocket back gel that we usually do, or not that we usually do, but that a lot of us like to do hanging off the outside of our bag. I didn't want to do that on this one. I didn't think it would be cute. I felt like it would take away from the bag. So I did choose to put this in there since it's very slim and I just slipped it in the back pocket. And of course it always comes in handy like at my doctor's visit this morning. I have my AirPods, which is still in my gorgeous case. I do have the third generation, right? Right, let me, hold on, let me get myself together. Yeah, third generation. <laughs> Third generation AirPods. This is one of those MagSafe cases. I had no idea what that even mean until I wanted a new charger, but I learned the hard way. So I love this case. I don't have any plans to change it anytime soon because I like being able to just sit my AirPods on the charger and it charges. Um, then we have, of course, the uh, pearl chain strap. I change it, you know, with the bag set up so if I feel like it. My phone is not in my purse. It's over here on the side, but same case as the AirPods and same case. This one's also MagSafe. So I literally just sit on the charger and it just goes. And I'm so addicted to that now. I don't know if I could go back to having to plug it up at the bottom. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I have my chapstick, which is just the Vaseline Rosy Lips. I have a Villa Beautiful pen with those pretty pearl iridescent-ish gems in it. I love using that as my um, on-the-go pen if I need to write something or uh, sign something. Y'all, do you find it interesting that even though we've gone through a whole situation ship and probably about to fall down the hole of another one with a new strand they're saying is out. But don't y'all find it interesting how when you go places and they want you to fill something out or they want you to sign something, they love handing you a clipboard with a pen. I'm not using your pen. I really don't even want to hold your clipboard. So anywho, <laughs> that's the reason why I always keep my pen on deck. Then I have my flashlight from the Dollar Tree. This one is in the pink color. What else is in that pocket? My clipper. This is a back holder from Amazon. It is linked in my storefront. I love that thing. I'm so glad Michelle told me about that one. And that thing does not lie. It really holds what it says it holds. So that back pocket is completely empty. If you remember from the um, unboxing, it does say St. Laurent right there in front of that zipper pocket. And then into the rest of the bag, y'all, this thing holds a lot. So we got everything else to go. Anything y'all normally see me pull out of a tote, I'm pulling out of this bag. It's amazing. I have this little cutie. Isn't she sexy? She cute, y'all, and she soft. Oh, I love this pouch. This one was sent to me by Shonda, Ms. Dazzle Me 77 in a love box with this cute little charm, y'all. She sent this together, so cute. So I am using this as my catch-all. It is so cute. I love how it has the design on both sides. So in here, I have all of the things. So artificial tears like usual. I have my power bank in here from um, Amazon. I have my, oh, these two are sticking together. I have my little pouch from the Dollar Tree with my contacts in it. I have my pouch from Sheen. That's my first aid pouch with wipes, band-aid, neosporin, all that fun stuff. I have my purple nail file in there. I have this cutie I showed in a recent haul. This is a Christian Dior perfume. This is the uh, something bouquet, I think. Oh, it smells so good. So good. It's a refillable um, perfume bottle. So I love this, especially since I have that recent hiccup with that atomizer from Amazon. Um, I have my pill case from Sheen. It's got the purple flowers on it. I will open it just in case you're new here. So I have pain meds inside of there. Let's see. I have a mascara, which did come in an Ipsy box. I have another perfume. This one is the YSL. 
Mon Paris. This one came in the um, gift set that I purchased to obtain that YSL mirror. That wasn't quite the kind of mirror I thought it was going to be, but I love it. Then I have this uh, cuticle oil from Shop Miss A. I picked this up inside the Shop Miss A store in New Mexico by Bestie, but I love that stuff. I've got my white out in here. This is a um, big white out in the smaller size. I love this travel one. You just twist it and it pops out. And then of course you just twist it back and it goes back inside. I love those. I just wish I could order them all in purple, but you know, you get what you get. <laughs> Then I have my cloud in purple. I call it a cloud. It's basically a box cutter, happy mail, package opener, whatever you want to call it. I have a scrunchie, hair tie, ponytail holder, whatever you want to call it. Cute little sheen bottle. I have Tasha face moisturizer in there. I have my purple tweezers in there. Another ponytail holder and then a pair of nail clippers, which my kids ask for a lot. I don't care where we at. Mommy got a nail clipper. Mommy got a nail clipper. Mommy got a nail clipper. Like, would y'all leave y'all cuticles alone? But anywho, then I do have my sunglasses case. This one is from the Coach Retail site. Um, this one does have the T-Rolls on the front. If I remember right... I got mine off Macari, if I remember right. Um, Y'all know I don't like the dangling strap, so I did cut the strap off. This is what it looks like from the back. I love how it says coach there. I did not even realize that when I first got it. But I do have my OG sunglasses in here. So my ride dies I've been carrying since I started my channel. And then a towel is in there. Um, I get extra towels off Amazon when I do seem to misplace one or when I add one somewhere else. I have my little digital business card, so just one SB, aka Layla. I've got the Instagram and the YouTube. It is double-sided. You just scan it and go with QR codes. I've got this um, purple key from Sheen that's actually a knife, so it's an additional safety tool. And then I've got two cute charms on here. One is the bag sister charm, and the other one is a charm that my bestie got me got me then i have my cute little tissue pouch the novel crown made love this cutie with the little charm on it on the inside in the front flat we have tissues at the top we do have candy and cough drops she is not making these yet but boy is she a mean somebody with that sewing machine so when she starts making them and selling them y'all trust me she is going to let us know i have not carried this wallet in a while this is the louis vuitton zippy compact wallet i've had this for a couple years i got this one from from fashion file um, and I love, love, love how it has the pink interior. Make sure nobody's showing. Love the pink interior. Love how things are laid out. So I've got an extra card back here in this slot. Two cards here. Nothing in this slot. I love this little middle section. That is my favorite part about this wallet. So I do have my main credit card in there. On this side, I do have my health insurance cards as well as move those up, as well as more credit and debit cards. And then, of course, another card back here in the slip pocket. So I love this little cutie patootie. That is my current wallet. And then all of my coins are in here. I haven't carried this cutie in a while. I do remember I grabbed this one off of Facebook because I missed it on the Louis Vuitton website. Um, when this collection dropped, I missed it before it sold out. So I did get this one from a Facebook group, Louis Vuitton group, back in the day, the um, Christmas that this animation dropped. I can't remember if it was 20? I think it's 20. Anyway, inside I just have my coins. So nothing fancy using it for what it is it is that pretty blue on the inside to match that um, blue water that's on the front so round coin purse with coins in it Oops. get it together Layla get it together then I have this little cutie patootie that um Miss Toya has showed on her channel and I ran the sheen so fast and added to cart because I thought this was adorable and I am totally addicted to coffee now I wasn't always that way y'all but I love me some coffee so this is a cute little kiss lock pouch I have quite a few of these because I am obsessed with using it for my candy it's just the perfect compact size so I've got my emergency candy in there and a couple of salt packets and then I have my taser which is from Amazon if your state allows it you should absolutely go to my storefront and check it out and get one this one is not much wider than an actual ink pen as far as the circumference so it's perfect size it is rechargeable with a droid charger so it's very handy and it holds a charge a long time you guys I don't think I've charged that thing since I first got it and let me show you something it's got is it four or five one two three four five it's got five spots for how much charge it has right look at that all five charges are still there and I have not had to recharge it since I got it and I haven't had to zap anybody either so I'm sure when you zap somebody you lose some power but that's a good thing nobody mess with me I don't mess with them we good but yeah that thing holds a charge a long time and I think y'all that is it let me see yes she is completely empty y'all nothing else in there so yeah there's a lot of stuff on the bed y'all it's a lot let me show y'all 
my tripod doesn't move as easily as y'all so I got to pick up the whole thing but look at this look at this y'all all that stuff fits in that puffer this is the amount of stuff that I would have in a freaking tote bag all of that is in there and I would show y'all me but let me tell y'all I look like damn Simba offline can you hear me my hair is everywhere I took my braids out. I just can't keep them in that long, y'all. I just can't. I did. They just my scalp needs some water. So, anywho, my hair is everywhere. I'm about to comb it out and wash it. But I did want to kick out some videos tonight so I can get them edited and uploaded over the next couple days. And I know you guys were dying to see what's in my bag in this bag because I know if I was y'all, I would be. After I did the unboxing, I moved right the hell in. I could not wait. She is so comfortable. Um. I think with usage and just with different lighting, if you saw that video, I was talking about how light these were and I didn't think that they were the exact same color as the photos, but I think websites and the colors on the sites are the same as, I'm just going to say it, Coach Outlet, y'all. When the pictures just don't line up, they just don't line up. So I think this is definitely a one, one to one, looks just like the real deal. I've gotten tons of compliments to a couple of places that I have gone um, out the house with the bag because y'all know I work from home, but she is a great carrier. She's hella comfortable. As y'all saw, she was good and pregnant in the beginning. You definitely have to stuff her with air paper um, when you're storing her so that she doesn't lose her shape and look like a denim hot mess. <laughs> when she's empty but she's gorgeous y'all she's absolutely gorgeous to be honest i really don't want to move out of her i have been enjoy enjoying carrying her but i really 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 want to participate in the um pink bag carry for the month of october so we're going to get things moved into um a pink bag and show you guys what i'm carrying next so thank you so much for watching the video i hope that you enjoyed it i hope you learned some things love some things picked up some new ideas tips and tricks how to organize or what safety tools you might want to carry all of those good details so any questions definitely comment down below comments rack up faster than i can keep up with so if you need an urgent immediate answer definitely dm me on instagram i'm able to respond over there a lot faster um since the comments aren't as um high in quantity as they are here in the videos but definitely comment down below if you just want to kind of chit chat or definitely enjoy the video please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and i'll see everybody in the next one bye